What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all sick today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smash that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God for me, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. And I'm going to play catch up at the end, baby. Let's on go. Board. Elizabeth Palmer is in Tokyo with the latest on that. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. The U.S. military is still trying to piece together what exactly happened since the Osprey crash just over six hours ago, which was about mid-afternoon here in Japan. It was halfway through what would have been about an 800-mile flight between a marine base near Hiroshima and the island of Okinawa, way down south. Uh, these pictures show a Japanese Coast Guard ship near the crash site with what appears to be an inflatable life raft alongside. But so far, all we know is that at least one body has been recovered. A witness told Japanese media that they saw the plane's left engine on fire as it came down. The, off, uh, the Osprey is unique. It's an aircraft that can tilt its rotors to fly like a helicopter vertically or a plane horizontally, but it has a questionable safety record with multiple crashes, including two here in the Pacific region. One just this past August during um, international training exercises in Australia that killed three of the 23 Marines aboard. And in 2016, another Osprey crashed in shallow water just off the island of Okinawa, which is where the U.S.'s largest military base is located. In that incident, all the Marines on board did survive. But in five other crashes elsewhere since 2012, nighttime in Japan, dark, but local volunteers along with Coast Guard ships and two helicopters are continuing to search for the five other people that we know were on the plane craft that can tilt its rotors to fly like a helicopter vertically or a plane horizontally, but it has a questionable safety record with multiple crashes, including two here in the Pacific region. One just this past August during um, international training exercises in Australia that right, killed three I'm of the 23 video, Marines. Baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave that video up there. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying to me? You feel me? Nah. Them things looking like drones. They fly like drones. You feel me? Now, my understanding, right? Why y'all keep building them things and knowing that they crashing out? Knowing that them things ain't worth flying. You know what I'm saying? They say somebody look and see the motor on fire. You feel me? So, if you keep building these things, and you know they crash now. What y'all do? Put y'all peoples in there for a dummy test or something to get out there and fly? You feel what I'm saying? If you want to put a dummy, put a robot in there and then let the robot fly. And then, you know what I'm saying? The robot crash out, let the robot crash out in the water. You feel me? But they located one person. You feel what I'm saying? But they're looking for the other ones. You feel what I'm saying, man? And uh, if they found one... One body, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling where the rest of them at. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe sharks or something. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what's in the water. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, you know, why why they keep building things like that and knowing that this ain't the first time these type of, you know what I'm saying, planes that they build for Air Force, Marines and all that, knowing that these things ain't worth two cents. You know what I'm saying? To me, my knowledge, if you keep building something and this is, what, the third time that this don't crash out like that, why y'all keep building these things and knowing that they ain't working? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't care how much I love my job. I don't care how much I'm in the Marine, Air Force, or whatever. You feel me? If you want to test out something, I'll out to the government who going around. Look your partner. I don't care if you're a sergeant, you're old man, whatever. I ain't getting up in there, partner. I tell you what, you get up in there. You know what I'm saying? You go in and, and be that dummy for the day and test it out. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? You can either lock me up, throw away the key. I don't care. My life more important than me trying to make y'all think I'm a dummy and get up in the, you know what I'm saying? You're going to use me as a dummy. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how much a person fly. I don't care how much you don't went to school for. You can fly good all I do. When it come down to the motors, you feel me? You cannot drive the motors. You can't guide the motors. 
Once the motor gone, they gone. Only thing guy in the motor is you in there when the dog on wings is doing his head. You got the guy that, you know what I'm saying, turn here, turn there, and, you know what I'm saying, do all the other crazy stuff. You feel me? But I'm not finna get up in there like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already knowing that these things, this is the third time these things don't crash out. You feel me? This don't make no sense, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, man? They need to be extra careful putting humans in there. They need to, since China, and they make all the other stuff, they should make a robot. I know they got one. I know they got one can walk, talk. You feel me? Put him up there. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't got no brain. You know what I'm saying? You throw him up in there. You know what I'm saying? He going to fly until he crash out because he ain't worried about dying because he's a robot. He worried about computers. You feel me? Man, look here, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, my good people, you know, this is a sad situation, man. You know what I'm saying? They know for a fact, man, that these aircraft that they building, man, you know what I'm saying? And they know these things crashing out. They know these things crashing out. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're supposed to have someone come and check the plane from top to bottom, from motor and everything. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody missed something and the motor gave out. Maybe somebody been lazy that day and really, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, have inspection, you know what I'm saying? Go through the plane, the motor and all that. Maybe they wasn't feeling that type of day, you feel what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, man? This is just a, a sad situation, man, because I feel like they should have some expert to come through. You feel what I'm saying? Inspect these planes, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have them sitting up for a long time, okay, a year, two years, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't been flying like that. Why you keep testing a human out? For what? It don't make no sense to me, man. You know what I'm saying? You build it, you test it out. You be that dummy. You heard me? And I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, my good people, y'all come, man. You know what I'm saying? I would like to hear from y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? My good people, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that dope bell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.